This is a hexagonal prism. We want to find the lateral area and the surface area. I've told you that half of the length of a side is 7 centimeters and that the height of the overall prism is 10 centimeters. The key things that we need to figure out are the opossum, the side of the hexagon, and therefore the perimeter of the hexagon. Those three key pieces will help us find the lateral area and the surface area. So the first thing I ask myself is which special triangle lives inside a regular hexagon? And we learned that that's the 30, 60, 90. It's oriented this way inside the hexagon, so that the base is what we call A, the hypotenuse is 2A, and the tall leg would be A radical 3. Well, if A is equal to 7, can you find the two missing pieces? That's right, when you plug in 7, 2 times 7 is 14 centimeters, so the hypotenuse is 14 centimeters. And when you plug in 7 on the side, the tall side, or the opossum, is 7 radical 3 centimeters. Well, we also know that the length of a side of the hexagon is the same size as the hypotenuse, or the radius. It's 2a. That means that the opossum is the 7 radical 3 centimeters. We know that the side of a hexagon is 14 centimeters, and the perimeter of a hexagon, well, if each side is 14 and there's six sides, 14 times 6 gives me 84 centimeters for the perimeter of my hexagon. Well, <clears throat> lateral area is a nice simple formula. Perimeter times height. Perimeter meaning the perimeter of the hexagon, and height meaning the height of the overall prism. We already figured out the perimeter as 84 centimeters, and the height was given as 10 centimeters. Let's plug that in. That means that the lateral area is equal to 84 multiplied by 10, or the lateral area is 840 centimeters squared. Well, we still need to find the surface area. The formula for the surface area is that it's equal to the lateral area plus twice the area of the base. Remember, capital B stands for area of the base. Well, our base is a hexagon, and the hexagon has that funny area formula of one-half multiplied by the apothem, multiplied by the perimeter. So let's plug in what we know. The lateral area again was 840, so I'll plug that in. And remember, big B, one-half times apothem times perimeter. We figured out up there that the apothem was 7 radical 3 centimeters and the perimeter was 84 centimeters. Plugging that in, I now know that my surface area is 840 plus 2 times the quantity, 1 half, times 7 radical 3, times 84. We're working with exact answers right now, not rounding. So we're going to multiply the 2 by the half, by 7, by 84, and bring the radical 3 down as if it were a variable. So right now, surface area is equal to 840 plus 588 radical 3. Are those things like terms? Can you actually add them together? No, you cannot. So we're going to put them inside of parentheses and give them the label of centimeters squared. And you have now found your surface area.